this plasma tower on Amazon, and I, if you look at the picture, it shows a lot of activity, a lot of electrical, electrical activity, and when I plugged it in, it wasn't showing much activity at all, and I'll show you right now, but first I'll start with showing you, for those of you that have been, have been following this project, this is, uh, I assembled this based on Gerard Morin's high voltage uh, resonance flow experiments. And so this is just a blender motor um, with a hose connected to a dishwasher uh, motor. And this is, I put a um, remote control car magnet inside. It was a stronger magnet from a Castle Creations motor. And I put ball bearings in there as well. Originally this didn't have that. So this voltage is now, uh, I think it's close to 500 volts. So this was listed as a 200, I think it was listed as a 220 volt uh, plasma, uh, plasma tower. And I wasn't sure how I was going to power it, but when they shipped it to me, because I have 110 volts available to me in the walls, it came with this. Uh, let's see what this says. Let's see what the voltage reads on this. Okay, well it's saying 220 volts to 230 volts, but it has these, the plug looks like a regular 110 outlet. Anyway, I wrote the company to ask them what, oh, is that cracked? Oh yeah, that has a crack in it. I didn't see that. Okay. So I just, I just opened this just now, today. So anyway, it's, I noticed that when I um, plugged it in to 110, this is what was happening. It doesn't look like the picture. So I don't know if it needs the 220 volts or if this is supposed to convert. Uh, those of you that saw the sticker on here probably understand this pretty well, but I don't know if this is supposed to convert uh, 110 to 220 or I don't know because it plugs right into 110. That's why I'm not sure why, but I'm going to let the company figure that out because I just wrote them and said it's not working and I sent them video and photos, but this is all it's doing and when I touch it, it's not really responding to me at all. So I thought what I would try is something that Gerard Morin liked to do. For those of you that know who he is, he's on YouTube. And I just connect these wires here. So this is the connected to these. This is a motor that's now being used as a generator. Just connected right there. And now when we turn it on, it's on low right now. Let's see what it does. Let me turn the light off. Okay, so now I'm gonna try, uh, I'm gonna turn it up to high, to full power as uh, as the video is going. So I'm going to turn it on low and then go to, go to high. Okay, so one of the interesting things to me that Gerard Morin talked about was, and if I understood him correctly, and I haven't tried this and I need to, is that with this resonance flow generator, I'll call it that, it's, it's a dishwasher water pump motor, but I'm going to call it a resonance flow generator because that's what Gerard Morin refers to it as, if I understand correctly. When we power something with this, if I understood Gerard Morin correctly, it, it doesn't, it won't damage electronics. Now I haven't tried to do that, and that's something I can try and test. 
<clears throat> but that's what gave me the confidence to test this and it didn't harm anything. It wasn't getting hot or anything. So yeah, I just thought I would make a video and share that experience with you. Kind of interesting. And it would also be interesting to see um, what kind of energy is coming off of this. Like what can be done with the energy that's coming off of this as well. Because that was quite an electrical storm there. So this is the plasma tower that I purchased on Amazon. And to find it, you might have to just put plasma globe or plasma tube or plasma column. Oftentimes these tall plasma columns are listed as underneath, under the plasma globes or plasma ball, plasma globe, and then they're just mixed in there. But um, even though the box on this one does say plasma tower, Oh, the, this, this came off. Reconnect this. Do a little experiment while we're here. Okay, let's adjust the tripod. Let's see. Okay, so this, this plasma globe is the, it's a different one. This one makes a different color. Let's see, is this one connected right now? Okay, wasn't really prepared for this test I'm gonna do right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and this one out I'll put the other one in and I think what makes the, the plasma tube or column or globe a different color is the um, the gases that are that it's filled with reach. It's for putting this one that we just saw in, that was on the, in the, in the previous test we just did. Let's see what that does. Just curious. Yeah, why not? Why not see what it does, right? So we have two plates here. Now this was configured. The last time I was testing this, I was testing my, my 60 60 high voltage transformers in series series this way 
parallel this way. So I'm still working on that, but that was a lot of soldering right there. It was very interesting to do that, and it was good. It was um, good for patience, for learning patience, or improving my patience. It was very good for that. Okay, let's see. Let me just disconnect. <clears throat> I might have to look at my diagrams again to see how to connect this, but I might be able to figure it out as well. Okay. So we're disconnecting everything. Okay, if I recall correctly on this one, I have to be very careful that this is a high voltage and it, it, can, it can be charged actually. That was connected to the meter. I'm going to treat it like it's always charged because it can, capacitors hold the charge. Okay, uh, let's see. So this one is our high voltage in. So we're going to go to the capacitor here. <coughs> let's see, high voltage in. Yep, we have to look at my diagram. One moment. Need some more light. Okay, I wasn't really prepared to do this, but I thought of this while I was sharing with you my thoughts in, in, in the beginning of this video when I thought, oh, let's try something else, right? Let's try more. Okay, um, that's going to help me see a little better. And then just the diagrams here. I'm trying to learn how to hook this up. Just looking at this and seeing, looking at some of these diagrams, some of these here. Right, let's see here. Need a very basic one for the connecting the. Um, what's that? That's an experiment. Oh, there's a lot of papers here. Let me see. Oh, let's see. It's not here. It's. Uh, it's one of the first ones here. Let's see. Oh, is that that might that might help me? This one might this one might help me. Okay. Let's see. Um, high voltage goes to. What is the high voltage? So it goes that that way. High voltage in. Sides. And then the ground. Now this ground is going to the actual ground that's connected to the th the ground on the on a plug. It's just going to the ground on that. And so this is going to be the ground side. Right, let me see. It's showing that side is ground. Oh no, this one. Where did we put the capacitor? Oh, the capacitor's over here. Okay. Um, where everything faces is positive, so that way, that way, that's positive. That's the positive out. Okay, so I'm going to touch these two together and see what kind of power. I just want to see what kind of spark we get, what kind of power we get. I do want to charge batteries with this, with, with the energy coming off of the plasma globe. Now, I don't even know if this is going to do anything, but let's just see, right? That's the one way to, to find out is to just try it. And hopefully it doesn't vaporize the wire, because that's also a possibility, right? Right, okay. So, I think that's connected correctly, and we're just using two plates right now. These are copper plates. I'm going to power up the, I will call it the Gerard Morin Resonance Flow Generator, because he's the one I learned about that from on his videos. Okay, I won't be able to talk while it's running, but... Let's see what happens. I'm just going to see what happens down here. Let's see if you can see this. If you can see the... Oh, yeah. This is where... I'm going to see if it sparks here. This is just energy coming off the plates. Oh, I need to back up more. Oh, let me see. What was that? What was... Volume. Okay. Um, 
Everything's very messy. Apologies for the mess, but you know, this is the experiment place where we just try things, so... I've been told by many people this is not a mess. It's just a place where we do experiments. So I'm turning the lights down. Let's see what happens here. Ready for this? I'm ready for it, too. Here we go. That was a very big spark, the first one. Okay. Let's try turning these sparks in. Let me turn it off. I know I have to be extra careful. Rick Friedrich talks about... Um, in one of his videos where he's teaching about this, he, he's, what he explains is that he really, this is my understanding of what Rick Friedrich is saying, is that he's really concerned about people getting hurt and then blaming, you know, blaming, being blamed for their, their hurt, their injury. And I understand, I mean, I'm... I want to see what this does and how it works. I'm going to get a little closer with the plates and just see if that makes a difference. And then we'll also try turning it up to full power. I mean, so many people have had knowledge of how nature works in ways that can help us in so many ways, but have stated that they didn't think humanity was ready for it yet. And... Um, <clears throat> You know, I, my thoughts are it's knowledge and study that prepares us for, for the things that we want to do. So it just requires meticulous uh, study and careful uh, experimentation that allows us to learn more. That's just my thoughts. Okay, we're turned off. And why did it turn off? Let me see if I can figure that out. Okay, so it turned off and I don't know why. At the moment, I don't know why. But 
Let's see if this is switches on. Let's see if anything got hot. No. Let's see if anything smells burned. I smell a lot of ozone smell. But no, that's all I smell though. Okay, so it, it's not working at the moment. And I'll have to figure out why. So I don't know why it stopped working. It could be the ground, something with the ground wire. But what I'll do is to end this experiment with the other one back up here, the, um, the other plasma column. We'll put that up here. <clears throat> For now, I'm just disconnecting this one. And then we'll put the other one back up here. This is the other one. It's a different color, so that means there's different gases inside. Okay, let's see. This one, in. this one runs on eight watts approximately. Approximately eight watts of power. One of the really interesting things about this kind of, uh, you know, the energy around here, <clears throat> around a plasma globe such as this kind. Well, there's a couple things that come to mind. Okay, so this is working now. But see, it's a different color. So this is my other one. But let's just see what kind of sparks we get for from this one while we're here. Let's see what kind of sparks we get. If we get any sparks, we should. So right now it's just shorted out because it's connected to itself. Yes. But then when I take it off, it should start charging. And that's because the high voltage wire here... This is high voltage coming off of the plates. Can you see my hand? Oh, this is high voltage coming off the plates, going into the capacitor. Let's see if we get a spark here. Yep. Okay, so that's that's coming from the these plates here. So I'm gonna leave that connected so it's shorted out. And that way I won't shock myself. I learned that from watching Rick Friedrich's video where he left it connected like that. Anyway, thank you for watching the video and I just wanted to share that. Um, I don't know what happened to the other plasma glow, glow, but as you saw, the plug that it came with, it wasn't working properly. And when I connected the high resonance flow uh, circuit or generator to it 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 looked more like the pitcher but then it stopped working after a little while so i'll have to figure out what that is thank you for watching have a great evening bye everyone happy experimenting happy learning and happy making videos and sharing all that you're thinking about in relation to experimentation and learning bye bye